Welcome to the presentation of the Q2 numbers of Hyperport SE. As you are aware already, there were a good start in uh, the year 2023 with our first quarter numbers and slightly below expectations second quarter with a core reason and uh, I will share this with you in a moment. Okay, first of all, the general 20 in the German mortgage market, which is still core to our business models, is fully intact. Actually, it's uh, in a positive way stabilizing and in certain parts even accelerating. We see massive net migration to Germany and thanks to the leaving of a boomer out of workforce, we need a lot of migration in the next 10 years. And because of this, demand for housing is high. 74% of our population would like to live in their self-occupied home ownership apartment or house and just 42% actually doing it. So there's a 30% uplift from the side who wants to live in this and from the side who's doing this already. In addition, the renting market got frozen thanks to regulation. And in the last quarters, the uh, change in the macroeconomic environment, there is no supply in the renting market anymore. We see sharp increases in rents here right now, which makes it even less attractive to try and solve your housing topics in this market. And uh, with this, in the background, there are more and more families on the market looking to acquire a home, just still hesitating because of certain circumstances. So this is not interest rate anymore. Since September last year, interest rate is uh, stable. Long-term interest rate in Germany, 3 to 4%. So uh, the financing costs stay stable. The property prices are stable since January this year. So all in all, you would expect continuation of the first quarter recovery in the second quarter. But it didn't happen. Core reason was intensive discussion about uh, energy efficiency of our buildings enforced by a law. Uh, our government tried and discussed to force everyone to renew their heating system in their homes with a huge public pushback. And uh, people who were in the progress of uh, buying something hesitated because of the discussion, not sure uh, how you will heat your, your home in the future and what kind of subsidies you will get if you change the heating system. This slowed down the market and this you saw one important uh, issue in our numbers. So besides this, Families coming to this market, they are interested in buying. Usually, and especially the upper third of the market, has a rising income level. With stable interest rates, this improves the affordability of housing. And with a limited supply side and the stable real estate pricing side, there are more and more who stop searching and acting again. And there's pretty solid development now over the last two quarters. So we saw the button in the fourth quarter of last year. And there we see the recovery, if not an unnecessary discussion about heating of our buildings. So we see this uh, recovery as well in the public available numbers of Bundesbank, second quarter, slightly above third quarter. So button reached, and from now, direction is clear. Our performance in this environment, mortgage credit products, minus 3% on a quarterly basis. So you could say, well, where is the incremental market share gain that uh, we usually provide? In this, numbers of Bundesbank are as well prepaid mortgage products involved, so-called uh, Baustoffverträge. This is something where people close contracts 10 years ago. Now they are paid out. And in this Bundesbank volume, you can say roughly 10 to 15 percent of this volume, what we see right now, was not closed in this quarter. And this is what we, we refer to. So if you exclude this, we see our marginal gain in volume and market share in this market environment. When we talk with the industry, when we see what our partners are doing, we outperform the rest of the market in this environment still. When you talk about partners, cooperative and their savings banks, highly diversified industries, and both we gained volume while they really struggled in their branch network. In the private banking industry, we gained the branch network of Deutsche Bank, which finally, after years of negotiating and project development, started with their migration 1st of July and brings now their volume to the platform. And in the broker segment, we see that smaller intermediaries, non-digital ones, leave the market. The larger ones aggregate volume, realize synergies, buying power, and bring volume to the platform. So in all four segments of the market, we see incremental gains right now in compared to a real market, which is out there. For the credit segment in total, it was a solid first Quarter, you can say, even with this market environment, small pluses on all sides compared with a good start in the year. So you see our cost savings took effect and we were able to 
scale our profitability in this segment here. Consumer, our consumer segment, the Dr. Klein franchise network is as well, even with this minus 9%, we expect that this is roughly a small market share gain in the second quarter. We see that consumers are getting more active again. So we generate a lot of leads online. Our franchisees busy advising them, but it takes a pretty long time right now to close the deal. So the, the advice time and the cost for advice are pretty high right now, which makes it actually remarkable that we are able to stay profitable even in this market environment. And uh, this is uh, unique in the market. There is no other large sales organization in the German mortgage market here right now, which is able to perform on a profitable level. Uh, this is thanks to the digitalized uh, decisions. So franchisees optimize themselves, we optimize the franchise system, and altogether we do the best out of this market environment. Troubling issue in the second quarter was the real estate platform. We had two major hits here and two unexpected hits here. One was the valuation platform where we lost quite an amount of market volume and a massive change in the product types because of regulation. And finally, the market turned down of last year arrived here. So we started here with exceeding capacities and having the wrong capacities in the wrong product areas and created a substantial amount of loss, unfortunately, in the second quarter. And second area of distress here is housing industry, this, the provider of social housing here in Germany, which uh, last year already stopped to finance a new building and construction projects because of the regulatory and interest environment. Uh, this year, and uh, thanks to this uh, heavy discussion about uh, the heating law, um, we, they stopped as well all projects regarding energy efficiency of household stock. It's just a short-term freeze which we see in the market. There's a lot of investments needed and a lot of new constructions needed for this market. But for now, housing associations frozen their activities and wait about the regulatory environment the government has to provide. For the first time, insurance turned positive. So the restructuring process of the last year finally was effective and we are well on track uh, to uh, break even this platform for the whole year of 2023. Q2 was the first break even quarter, and we are well on track. This week, we will um, announce another big player migrating to our platform, giving us another push and providing additional uh, growth for next year. In total for the group, it means we are in a consolidation phase where qualitative uh, growth is important for us. So we keep investing in our business models. We keep investing in sales because we see this market and the different types of our product areas recovering. So second quarter, slightly above expectation. Because of this, we had to reduce our full year expectation level and ambition level. Uh, but we are on track gaining market shares across all product areas here. We do this as well by a very strong cost cutting and uh, cost management. Plus, price increases across all product areas because of the change in risk that we cover for our partners and our clients. So getting in this environment our prices and with this our revenue up, keeping our costs stable is the way to go forward until market recovers for us. Market recovery, we expect within this decade and uh, actually more than the level that we came from. We see already a recovery in the buying market, so where the existing stock of houses and apartments is uh, transferred, the pace is increasing, beside the slowdown of the heating discussion. New construction is still pretty far down. German government will have to do something to uh, ramp up the uh, new construction site. Otherwise, we will face intensive housing crisis here because with net migrations of something uh, between half a million and a million euro, and the new construction of below 200,000 units is a massive mismatch otherwise. And we see huge investment in energy efficiency of our household stock coming, 20 billion per quarter, this only. So it sums up to 75 to 100 billion in quarterly mortgage volume to be expected from just 40 billion where we are operating right now. And with this, we keep investing and see the opportunity to have a better position for the upcoming recovery in this market. So this was a quick preview. Please deep dive into Hyperport. It's an opportunity long-term for every investor. Thank you.